This is a place I do not want you to be. I want you to age gracefully and wonderfully and happily well because aging is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Hey, wonderful people. Welcome again. How are you all doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Happy new month. If you're seeing my face for the first time, welcome. I am happy to have you here today. My name is Cheesy. And if you love skincare, shower routine, body care, feminine hygiene routines and tea, smash the button, subscribe below and click the bell icon beside it. That way you stay connected and receive notification whenever I upload a new video. Okay. I am here to share with you guys my personal tips on how to glow from the age of 30 tips that you need to do at home. It's the things that we overlook. It's the things that we also did not even think that when we do them, we are going to have a more radiating, youthful and brightening skin. And I'm not going to lie, I did this without even thinking. But by the time I get a lot of feedback from you here and off the camera complimenting about my skin, this is when I know that this tip that I just implemented does really work. And that is why I am here to share with you. I also want to explain why I choose from the age of 30. I am not 30. I am in my 40. Okay, let's clarify this. But I say 30 because what I am achieving now in my 40 is something that I started from 30 on my skin. So this is why I choose from the age of 30. So don't think I am in my 30. We don't pass that one. Number one tip is nothing but staying hydrated. Honestly, drinking water is my top tip. Whenever people ask me, what do I do for my skin? And if I tell them, drink a lot of water, they don't want to listen. They only want me to start telling them the product that I use. Not knowing that if you are not taking enough water and your system is not clean, the cream will not give you any effect most of the things that i see that make people not to really have the habit of drinking water is because of busy lifestyles i see people looking for drinks which can boost their energy energy drink coke coffee and lots more of the drinks that is in the market that help people to boost their energy or maybe some people are not sweet enough they like their sweet drinks <laughs> <laughs> that they keep going for the sugar drinks and the rest more to keep hydrated darling from the age of 30 i will advise you to really cut down on all those drinks and add more with the water intake if you struggle and you don't enjoy drinking water add some fruits to it your fruits of your choice your favorite fruits that you love strawberry lemon pineapple add that just to get yourself in a habit of drinking every time i would also love to clarify this because too much of water intake is also not good everything in general anyway make sure you do not take more than one to two liters a day because it is advised that the right amount to take a day is from one to two liters and depending on your body size maybe you should also do a bit of research on your body size as well the amount of water to take in a day also my other tip is not about to get in myself uh beautiful cups look at this come on when you see this beautiful cup you just like to take it and then drink let's drink together guys while we're talking about staying hydrated uh-huh i love beautiful cups they inspire me as well and motivate me to drink from it when they look that luxurious and beautiful that's it i just enjoy the drink i'm drinking there are lots of benefits from staying hydrated honestly it helps to tighten your skin remove the small pores and as well stop your skin from looking dry and dull reduce puffiness approve complexion and also helps to balance the ph level of your skin another way to also get your skin hydrated is nothing but to make sure you use your toner the toner helps to balance the ph level of your skin and also adds facial mist as well that way you are going to have a beautiful fabulous and amazing look on your skin my number two tip is nothing but to remember do not always be tired to take away your makeup at night 
if i must be honest i would say don't even do a lot of makeups when you turn 30 start reducing the amount of times that you apply makeup on your face this is going to save your skin to look fabulously well when you age if you can't do without your makeup make sure you follow a good routine to take away your makeup which is make sure you double cleanse your skin using a oily based cleanser first and a water based cleanser as well double cleansing your face helps to deep cleanse your pores and remove any leftover makeup on your face also it helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles over time making sure your skin look the best as you enter 40. my number three tips is nothing but two reduce the way you seal this on the eye with your concealer from the age of 30 that is going to save your under eye to look good and better when you enter 40. i know there are a lot of things that makes us do that because we have dark eyes fine lines we have puffiness and the rest we can invest on a good amazing eye creams to help us from the age of 30 invest on anti-aging eye serum from the age of 30 if you started noticing these things because i don't want to be looking tattered all the time i thought about doing the micro braiding as well so that when i wake up i don't need to do fill the brows and then by the time i'm filling the brows and then i tend to start doing more concealer more makeup to really blend the whole thing and make it look good but right now i've invested on the microblading even though it's expensive but i am loving it it's giving me what i want see the makeup is good but the thing is this from the age of 30 it don't feel good anymore for me i don't know about anybody and the look doesn't even look the same anymore if you have to you don't feel confident and you want to really put some concealer to make it look a bit okay invest on the liquid concealer my favorite concealers is nas concealer and the dior concealer these two concealer they are lightweight just have a little bit of it around it and dab gently the under eye is a very sensitive area and the age quicker than every other area of our skin so make sure that you dab gentle these two concealer invest on good concealer as well liquid concealers they are the best Get the liquid concealer and put a little bit there. Don't put too much cake in and all that from the age of 30. I tell you, if you carry on from 20 to 30, by the time you reach 40, you might be struggling on the kind of makeup to even put on your under eye to make you look good. This is a place I do not want you to be. I want you to age gracefully and wonderfully and happily well because aging is a good thing. It's not a bad thing my number four tip is nothing but to exfoliate exfoliating i said on my previous video is a game changer at the age of 20 our skin turnover tend to reduce and we have it every 28 days our dead skin cells turnover and if you don't exfoliate this is also going to leave you with a lot of breakout hyperpigmentation spots dryness wrinkles and dullness and flaky looking skin sis when you turn 30 listen to me I know it might be very busy and you are looking amazing in your 20s and 13s and 15s but when you are approaching the 30 to be honest try to do your exfoliating at least two times a week the maximum you can do based on your skin type is three times do not exfoliate every day it is advised to exfoliate two to three times a week but if you are the type who struggle and you don't do this start doing at least once a week and then before you know it, it becomes a habit. Do you know how it's going to be a habit? By the time you notice the changes on your skin, you're going to see yourself doing it right and there. My next tip is to start investing on the anti-aging products from the age of 30. I know, I've had a conversation with someone and they tell me, Why do you buy anti-aging products? Are you afraid to age? No, I'm not. This body was given to me to take care of and I believe God gave the wisdom to people who produce the skincare products and if it is not needed I believe there will not be any reason for the wisdom and the idea to pop up so we need to appreciate the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living by investing on this anti-aging product focusing on your skin concern it is very important so sis 
it is time that you go and look at all the whole anti-aging products based on what you started noticing from the age of 30 and start getting some and trying them and see which one works for you it is not a waste sis don't be ignorant because i want you to slay when you get to 40. now i'm also going to add by telling you some of the benefits of using anti-aging products number one as we age our skin tend to lose its elasticity shea butter does it have collagen quote me wrong i don't even know does shea butter has it no and collagen is one of the things that says to help to add on your skincare routine to make your skin look that thin tighter and beautiful we also tend to see a lot of dryness so this is why you need to start investing from the age of 30 this good product anti-aging products that helps to give you that hydration and give you make your skin feel firmer and make your skin look plumper and look good before you end that 40. it's not like when you reach 40 and you start using them you're not going to get results you will also get the result but it's not going to be the same when you have started doing it from the age of 30. again antioxidants are found in some of these anti-aging products which helps to fight free radicals reducing the wrinkles fine lines dark spots and the dullness on our skin uh, there's a lot of amazing anti-aging skincare products my favorite one is i love mirror dermatological they have good anti-aging um skincare and also cow Dali as well lancome i've tried them their brand as well these are my favorite brands that i tried and they are amazing so you do your research darling and invest in some of this anti-aging products next one is this your palm and your legs make sure you take care of them from the age of 30. naturally i have a very strong palm to be honest i think it's hereditary it's for la family thing i don't think anybody in my family have any soft palm my palm my yeah it's so hard but the only thing that i do to make it look beautiful by the time you touch it and then you get to feel highly feel <laughs> it's nothing but to make sure i rub my face serum on my hand any leftover make sure you rub it over on your hand because the hand also is a part that age quickly when you get 40. you will see it darling it wrinkles fine lines even if possible invest on your face go and get cheap facials that are very good for plumpiness and uh and uh wrinkle that fight wrinkles just put it on your palm make it as a routine because i started doing this as well let me know if you want me to share that and i can see that the water retention here as well is reducing and look you can see you can see the wrinkles my knuckles as well is a bit folding as well so darling make sure you invest on your hand and your and your feet i did my skincare routine my maintenance vlog as well if you have not seen that video make sure you go and check it i'll leave the link on the description box i also encourage taking care of your feet do your manicure pedicure check out that video you will see how i did it take your time to moisturize your feet in between the legs make sure you rub it in moisturize don't be in a rush darling from the age of 30 invest on this i'm telling you it's very important this is simply because this place is age quicker than every other places in our body so make sure you invest on it make sure you also exfoliate your palm very well while you do your body scrub sometimes we wear gloves and then exfoliate the whole body and leave it please remove the gloves and scrub your hand as well they need that tender loving care as well my last tip is nothing but from the age of 30 make eye cream as part of your life yes there are a lot of eye cream in the market which can help your eye as well the puffiness the wrinkles the discoloration as well make it as a habit to invest on them at the age of 30 it is so important as little as it is that it started coming out now invest on in eye cream that is something i am going to really advise you on to have this beautiful and gorgeous look okay that is it for today's video i hope you learned something new and you enjoy watching this video please if you do smash the like button below and make sure you subscribe and turn your notification button on if you haven't subscribed so you don't miss out on my next video feel free to request any video or anything you want me share on 
I am thinking, darling, for us to do like a skincare series. I don't know how to do this, but let me know in the comment section. I am planning to have a series of step-by-step -step on how to prep your skin for the summer so that you achieve a more brighter and looking skin. Let me know if you would love that and start writing any area of your body and skin that you have any concern that you struggle to really show off during summer. Let me know in the comment section that way we'll be in it together and then we will walk on the tips and I shared some products that I know that works for people or work for me as well. Let me know in the comment section. Skincare for the holiday, summertime and everything. Let me know in the comment section if you would love to see that as well. I'll see you again on my next video. Bye.